you make the decision if you leave the implant exposed as a one stage or a two stage, I think a two stage gives you another opportunity to augment the tissue at the uncovering, okay? Especially in the aesthetic zone, it's so critical. So if you had some collapse of the ridge, again, we are always chasing our bone, we're always chasing our tissue, you can use an uncovering technique that starts more the palate with two vertical releasing incisions and expose the implant, sparing the papilla on both sides and getting a good outcome. Now, this takes staging, this takes time. And a lot of us, and a lot of our patients actually are in a hurry to move on with the replacement and get to the final outcome sometimes, and most in the aesthetic zone, it takes multiple steps. And that's why I think many doctors are shying away from that because each process, each step uh, can be also very costly for the patient. And I encourage you, don't give it away. Give, explain the challenges to your patients, explain why the aesthetic zone is so critical, explain the natural resorption, and explain what are the steps that you need to take to give your patients a good implant site and good implant outcomes, okay? So all these things can work out. Timing is everything, okay? When you see a fistula, this is an, another patient, not the same patient. When you see a fistula, don't wait. Don't wait. Let the patient know about the extraction and let them know that they need to move forward because once you have a fistula, you know that there's a compromise to the buccal plate. Okay, and if you look at the radiograph, I think everybody can see what is the reason for the infection or the crack. So this tooth had uh, obviously a, uh, a big crack, a big uh, perforation, and as you reflect the tissue, you can see the extent of the loss of the buccal plate. Okay, you can see quite a bit of bone loss. You can see uh, that uh, we have the interproximal bone and tissue, but the buccal plate is very compromised. So don't get overwhelmed of how it looks. Make Be very, very clear. Be very methodical in your thinking. Don't get overwhelmed, okay? All, all it means is that you need to reflect the flap beyond the defect. You need to debride it, suspend so good, you know, five, sometimes 10 minutes to debride the socket, remove all the granulation tissue, be in contact with the uh, actual healthy bone. If the bone is not very vascular, and that happens every once in a while, you may need to create some bleeding points, some vascular channels to improve the vascularity. And then think about how many walls, start counting, okay? So it's a little bit different than the previous case, four and a half walls. We have mesiodistal lingual, I'm sorry, mesiodistal palatal, and half of the buccal plate. And we uh, probably have, uh, may have a little uh, bottom or, or floor. So what does the compartment technique tell us to do? Mm -hmm.